doing woodworking most of my life. No matter what else I did, uh, wherever I went, I seemed to uh, fall back and end up doing things with wood, whatever they were. And I, I developed this whole set of skills. And I, I actually think, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't do it. I mean, it's sort of the center of what I do. It really is. And it's, I'm sure it's part of who I am. I mean, I don't know who I'd be if I didn't do that. My father was a cabinet maker and he, uh, I have memories of digging through his tool chest when I was four and five years old and, and uh, uh, destroying tools regularly. Even by the time I was six or seven, I mean, we made things together and we, we worked things together. So I, I started as a very really young child. I tried to escape it on a few occasions. I went off and I was a social worker for a little while and I, was a, some, I became a teacher and then somehow I became a woodworking teacher. I lived on the south shore of Nova Scotia for quite a long time. That's where I taught. And I met people from Cape Breton. I visited a few times. And then I, uh, I was offered a chance of, uh, to take early retirement. And I said, well, where do I want to go and what do I want to do? But when I moved here, I decided that not only was I going to uh, use uh, no exotic woods, I was only going to use woods that grew in Cape Breton. That's limited me a little bit, but it's, it's opened a whole lot of doors for me because I've taken to using, finding varieties of woods in Cape Breton that aren't used that much, um, finding things like spalted woods and things like bird's eye and curly uh, woods and tiger woods and various um, things that happen to woods that change them so that you develop a bigger variety of, of woods. Probably 20 or 25 years ago, I sort of gave up on using plans because every plan that I used, I said, well, I think I'll change this and I think I'll change this. So finally I realized that what I really liked doing was designing. So now I've, I've been running this shop for 13 years and basically everything that I make is my own designs. I have a book of probably well over a thousand different drawings that I, that I, I, I sketch a lot. And, and at various times and whenever I bring them home and throw them in the folder and sometimes I page through that but I'll never make a quarter of all the things that I think I might want to make at some time <laughs> so there, there's there isn't there is no shortage of it. that's the easy part for me that's the part I like the most part of the motivation part of why I do things I think is is that I like to do things that that surprise and and create that that little wow uh feeling in people and 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 I get that I'm quite successful at that at times some people say wow how do you do that that's you know and I, 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 I go for that I like that I try to make things that have some use um, as opposed to just pure decoration so I make things out of wood that have a little usefulness to them I like the idea that I can make things that may last forever or for a very long time at least mm -hmm.